What's up, you got Danita with Booty Bands, and today I'm gonna show you a booty workout that you can do with booty bands literally anywhere. Let's go. Awesome, I'm gonna start with a beginner move where you're on your knees, you're gonna step that foot up, twist, and then as you step back, you're gonna activate your glutes and kick it back. This can be as slow as you would like. Again, this is a warm up to really activate and let the body start to wake up. I'm gonna show you the advanced version, but if you wanna stay in the beginner on your knees, that's totally fine. I'm gonna go up onto my toes. I'm doing the exact same move, but this time I'm no longer on my knees. Keep it slow and controlled and remember to keep breathing. It's all about engaging your core, squeezing your glutes, and stretching through your upper body. Awesome, my next workout. So love this one. It's a great warm up to really activate the glutes. You're gonna put your booty band around your knees. You can go ahead and lie all the way down. That bottom leg is going to be flat onto the ground while the top leg is going to be doing all the work. Now you're gonna to wanna to feel this in your glutes. If you're not, you're gonna to wanna to move your knee, your ankle, your foot around until you really start to feel the activation. Great, the next one is mermaid. I really feel this one. So just pop your both of your feet up. The bottom knee stays on the ground and the top knee is the only one that's lifting. Good work. Next is the human leg. So uh, same thing as the mermaids, the feet is up. You're gonna open the knee, kick it out, bring it back to the other foot, and then close it out. You should really, really feel a burn on this one. Again, if you do not feel a burn in your glutes, make sure to move around your knee or make any little adjustments so that you can activate your glute better. Maybe move a little forward, a little bit more back, whatever works for you. Try to really push against that booty band. It's there to give you that resistance into the glutes. So really open it as wide as you can. Great, the next one, I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate my hips more towards the ground. I bring my knee to the other knee as I just send my toes all the way up. You're gonna feel this now instead of the side of the glutes of like the, midi the medius, you're now gonna work the maxima. So try to aim for the biggest portion of your glutes and just feel the squeezing, almost like you did in the kickback. And then we're gonna end with pulses. So just keep it halfway up at the top and just pulse. Don't drop your knee all the way down this time. Good work. Now we're gonna go ahead and rotate onto the other side. So take your second here as you rotate around and we're gonna put your now booty band onto the other leg. Starting again with clams. Same thing, you wanna activate that booty. So make any little adjustment here by pushing your knees a little bit more forward. Maybe they're a little bit more back. Maybe your feet are a little bit more tucked to your booty. Maybe they're sent out. Whatever you can find that you can really feel those boots activating. Okay, next, the feet are up. All that's moving is just that top leg and you're bringing your, um, that bottom knee is on the ground. So it's that bottom knee is touching the ground as you are just opening that top leg. And then ended, of course, with our favorites, the kickouts. Awesome, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the anchors again. So rotating, you want to try to get your hips so they're like more parallel to the, to the ground. 
and you're just focusing on dropping that knee and then squeezing up with your glutes to push that either toe or heel up. You can flex your foot here if you feel like the activation is a little bit better for you. Just listen to your body and end with some pulses. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and stand up. So still having your booty band on. These are called the switch blades. So what you're gonna do is your feet are about hip distance apart and one foot stays in place while the other foot just kicks back. You wanna stay nice and low right here because that's where you're gonna really feel the burn. And so just push as much as you can against that band, keeping those knees straight and in line. After that, we're gonna go to curtsy lunge. So you're just gonna cross that foot over to the other side. If you need help with balance right here, you can always grab onto like, let's say the back of a chair or a wall or something like that. Um, but you're gonna use your core for your balance and you wanna step far enough back so that when you're, you're stepping back, you're gonna be stepping up through that front leg and really feeling the glutes working. And then when you're ready, go to the other side. And then of course that curtsy lunge. If you want to, you can add even a little bit of a squat right here. So you can see I'm sending my foot back and then squatting right there. Your choice, you can add whatever variations, but just stay nice and low through the process and step far enough back so that you're not focusing on your quad, but you're focusing on your glute. All right, good work. Compliment over comparing progression over perfection, and self-love over self-sabotage. Join something different, join Booty Bands.